अंबे अंबिके जगदंबिके अंबे अंबिके जगदंबिके अंबे अंबिके जगदंबिके अंबे अंबिके जगदंबिके शैलेन्द्र राजेन संपोषिते अगस्त्यांद्रियोगींद्र संसेविते शैलेन्द्र राजेन संपोषिते अगस्त्यांद्रियोगींद्र संसेविते वेदेन तंत्रेण संघोषिते विपंच्या मृदंगेन आनंदिते वेदेन तंत्रेण संघोषिते विपंच्या मृदंगेन आनंदिते अंबे अंबिके जगदंबिके अंबे अंबिके जगदंबिके अंबे अंबिके जगदंबिके अंबे अंबिके जगदंबिके धर्माबिके देवी बालांबिके पवित्रात्मिके ब्रह्मनादात्मिके धर्माबिके देवी बालांबिके पवित्रात्मिके ब्रह्मनादात्मिके मंदार वृंदेन संपूजिते सदा नवमिते पाद पद्म शिवे मंदार वृंदेन संपूजिते सदा नवमिते पाद पद्म शिवे सदा नवमिते पाद पद्म शिवे अंबे अंबिके जगदंबिके 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 हरिओम थैंक यू विष्णु महेश्वर गुरुदेव परम ब्रह्म तस्म वसुदेव समस्तजनक नमोस्तुते व्यास विशाल
I told you on the very first day, I think, Guru's love is greater than God's love. God's love sees your qualifications. Guru doesn't see your qualifications. In fact, the more you have deteriorated, the more he gives attention to you. Also, any amount of help from economists, politicians, service people, any amount is still finite. But Guru, instantly, if you are available, in five minutes, make you realize you are God and all your so-called problems are all because of wrong data, wrong books, wrong knowledge. Mogasha, Moga Karmanaha, Moga Jnana, Jetasa. So instantly makes you God, Guru. Therefore, there is no other day greater than Guru Purnima. And we are fortunate to do it today because it starts today afternoon. So evening we are having today. Right? So we are lucky. As you are uh, doing sadhana, as you are growing, you will directly get messages from me. You will start getting messages. He completely takes over your life. It all depends how much you allow him to take. It's not that he is partial. If we have other interests, what he can do? You are not giving attention to him. That is Guru Purnima. So, this Brother Nepotmishar is a lovely book because of the love and compassion of Yagnavati. He tries to cater to all types, at the same time, warning. This is only finite. He caters to everybody, but he, he wants at every time, this is only finite. Don't get stuck here. Bless. The Bhashya of Sri Shankara is amazing, like poetry. is amazing. You can't get definitions he is going to, today we are going to do Sura and Asura, definitions of who is a Asura, who is a Deva, he is going to give. The Shankaracharya excels. What, is, what more beautiful? The translator follows the same spirit, Swami Madhavananda. Swami Madhavaranda follows the same spirit. Just to give you an indication of this book. Scriptures do this much that they point out what leads to God and what to uh, 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 truly indicating the particular relations that sub that subsists between ends and means. Scriptures give you the means to realize God. Also explain to us the various factors in ends and means. All in all other pursuits, the end and means are different. 
and you are also different from them but in the knowledge the end and the person who is following all become one so he says scriptures see the beauty this is this this is this type you have to see in brother scriptures neither hinder nor direct a person by force as if he were a slave scriptures don't tell you do this don't do this they never tell you because you have to grow on your own right according to the varying tendencies of people the scriptures variously the particular relations submit between ends and means subsist between ends and means scriptures give different paths to different people according to their tendencies tendencies means vasanas tendencies means vasanas therefore the vedanta texts that teach the unity of brahman are not antagonistic to the ritualistic scriptures vedantic texts that emphasis on the knowledge of the brahman are not antagonistic to the ritualistic scriptures neither do the ritualistic scriptures which have uphold differences such as factors of action pantam you know the yajamana his wife his child well goals this is called five fold in all the actions take take away the authority of the upanishads as re- regarding the unity of brahman that is scriptures do not try to discourage you from rituals the ritualistic portion doesn't discourage you from gaining the knowledge from gaining the you see how beautiful it is this is why we chant three times shanti <laughs> disturbances <laughs> from outside disturbances from unknown things disturbances within yourself disturbances will happen but you should not be disturbed right so see swamiji as you two lovely uh words are praises standard of living standard of life standard of living is to vertically grow how much my bank balance every year it should increase by 20% nothing wrong absolutely nothing wrong absolutely nothing wrong how many houses i have right how many children i have how many wives i have how many cars i have 
This is called standard of living. There's nothing wrong. But if standard of living is not supported by standard of life, life will be chaos. Swamiji gives a lovely example. In a boat, the keel, keel is the thing below the boat, should be as deep as the mast up. These days you may not see, but the golden days, all these were there. We saw the boats had mast. They used to act as the radars, you know, we are managing the wind. And the keel should be as much deep as the mast. So, as much as you are trying to go up in the standard of living, if it is not supported by standard of life, it leads you into uh, disaster. Into disaster. That's this what this book says. Both are needed. Because both are God. Both are God. Don't hate the world. It is the expression of the God. World is nothing but an expression of the God. Right? You have several options when it comes to the world. You can believe what you see is real. World as you see is real. You can try to see a cosmic connection between the world and you are also connected or you can see the entire world as an expression of God. As you relate to it, so do you get the experience. There's nothing wrong with the world. The world is nothing but Naraya. So therefore, trying to tell us the various factors that can enrich our life to start from somebody who is not totally detached, nani, nor is totally attached. They start teaching the rituals, pujas, etc. Because through that they have to grow. They have to first turn their mind to that. As much as they turn their mind and attention to that, to that extent their ego starts slowly coming down. Because even to believe in God and pujas, you have to submit your ego. Surrender your ego. So therefore they teach these things. Otherwise, why Sri Shankara should write so many things? Kanakadara Stotram, Margabandhu Stotram, to protect you on the way in travel. Kanakadara, to give you money. Why, do, why should he write all these mundane things? Because it's necessary for people. Also, the man, the, the lower things are satisfied. He cannot think of the higher things. A hungry man cannot express beautiful emotions, nor is he available for contemplation. That is how a Dharmatma like Parichit, when he was hungry, he lost his balance and he put a dead snake around the Rishi. Because a hungry man loses his discrimination. So they teach these rituals and all that. But many people think that is the end and the people who teach also Purohit say this is the end. Veda Vyasa criticizes worse than it is in Gita. Yamima Pushpitam Vacha Pravadanti Avipachita This flowery language, the unintelligent people say non nether spiritual, there is nothing beyond this. Veda Vyasa says Veda Vyasa 6. So you should know the proportion, the balance, 
harmonizing between the material life and the spiritual life, between the material pursuits and the spiritual pursuits. You should know. Therefore, this book does the treatment so lovely. At every step he wants. Ashwamedha, when he said, the foot of the Ashwa rests on Brahman. It originates from Brahman. Fire God, it says, he concludes that all other offerings are for lower gods. Offering the Prajapati to yourself is offering to the self. Now, in these two sections, he has taught the glory of Prajapati Vipassana. Gave a rough indication of Asramedha Yaga. But how exactly you should do? How exactly you should do? What are the various steps? How you focus? What are the benefits? They have not been dealt there. That is dealt in the third chapter of the first Kanda. Here is a, through a story, he says. Through a story, he says. He says, always there are suras and asuras. Where? In you itself. When I come to the class, I am a sura. After the class, you must see me. I am Asura. In between, I may be a Manushya. Right? In between. It's all in us. Shankara's Sanskrit, this thing you must read. It's beautiful when he explains that. But the English translation, I will tell you. Yes. They become Asuras. Shankara starts with Suras. But to my taste, I start with Asura. Because my story is important. They become Asuras when they are influenced by their natural thoughts. By their natural thoughts. What is the na natural to everybody? To be extrovert. To be attached to sense world, indulgence, that's natural. Natural thoughts, based only on perception and inference. That is, they believe whatever is seen is real. So I must get out of it the best. This is also called Charuvaka philosophy. Charu means gullible. Uh, you know, people who are experts in talking. Right? Charu Vaka, Charu Vaka philosophy. What is Charu Vaka philosophy? The man who is born must die. Jatasihi Dhruva Mrityuhu. He doesn't say the next. Charu Vaka doesn't say. Next, Dhruvam Janma Bhutasaja, he doesn't say. You are born, you have to die. Basmi Krutasya Dehasya Puna Ragamanam Putaha. The body that is burned, where does it come back? So he believes only what he sees, birth and death. It doesn't come back. So what's his philosophy? Runam Krutva Grutam Pived. Borrow. But enjoy life, drink tea. In those days, st high standard of uh, living is all the time 
eating uh, food with ghee. Right? Runam krutva krutam pibe. That is char vata Based on perception and inference. I told you six pramanas. Pratyaksha is perception. Anumana. Maybe that 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 good for me. Anumana. Anumana pramana is pramana means that which reveals knowledge. Anumana pramana. There is smoke, therefore there should be fire. Yatra yatra dhumaha tatra tatra vatni. Next, Arthapati Pramana. I had done this earlier, but better you hear, you know, because these are technical things. Arthapati. These days I don't eat at all, but the man is going on putting on weight. That means the night sees into another type of influence. Upamana. He is a very good man. Sadhu. Like Gandhi. Sadhu means you have to say that. You can't say he is a sadhu like Ravana. Upamana. That which gives you the meaning. Okay. And Anupalabdi. We several times use. You are... You are trying to get something from this world which, I, which doesn't have it. Like Vandhya Patraha, son of a barren man, or Gagana Kusumaha, Sky Plava, Gandharva Nagaraha, all these things are not there. Anupalabdi. The last is Suti Pramana, Shabda Pramana, which reveals to God only by words. Tattva Masi, he says, he contemplates, how can I be that? Then the Guru gives some hints and he realizes, Aham Brahmasmi. Today we are going to do that. Aham Brahmasmi. That's called Shabda Pramana. So, these Asuras, Asuras are people who believe in what they see. They don't believe any Punya or Papa after death. What they see, they believe. People loot. People loot. They become big personalities. I don't want to categorize because today it's dangerous. You have to be careful in what you talk about, even as examples. Right? You loot, you become a big personality. Right? Several cars, several people around you. So they, they, they try to take it because what they see, they believe. Right? What they see, they believe. In short, in a language we can understand because many a time in spiritual listening, we do not understand because we conceptualize and carry it away by terms. Asura means you believe he has two tusks. Two hearts, no. Asura means, Sura means, all oh, this is beautifully given in the Sanskrit thing. Sura, one who sustains by good, goodness. Asura, one who doesn't sustain by goodness. It's simpler than that, pure materialist. Pure materialistic person is called a Asura. Pure materialistic person is called a 16th chapter of Gita. You read Daivasura Sampati Yoga. What does he say in 16th chapter? I made this much money. Tomorrow I'll make this much money. Today I finished him off. Tomorrow I'll finish that man off. This is all they thought in the business world. They are called Asuras. Suras are what? Suras, under influence of thoughts, taught by scriptures. Those people, Pramana is only Pratyaksha and Anumana. Suras, their authority is scriptures. Scriptures. True nature of self remove erroneous thoughts. That is, they act according to their 
instincts, vasanas, natural. To be natural is not good. You have to be cultured. I walk. I suddenly feel to ease myself. Natural to feel like an easier. That's not good. You should be cultured. I should not do it. You understand? So a person to be natural is not good. He has to be cultured. So this is Sura and Asura. So that's as a story he gives here. Why, why does he give? Who is a Sura? Who is an Asura? Amrita Manda. That topic comes. God is equal to both. God extracted work from both. But Asuras got cheated. Suras got the Amrita. Why? How can God do that? He didn't do. Suras depended on him. Asuras tried to take law into their hand, tried to take the Amrita part and run away. Tried to take the Amrita part and run away. Suras depended on him, didn't take law into their hands. Right? So this is Sura who depends on God and scripture, Asura who depends on what he sees on matter on his own prowess. On his own prowess. What is Vaya Media? Start depending on God. What God I don't know. Krishna. Sarvam Krishnarpanamastu. Sri Krishna Sharanam Mama. Do that. Do that. You can progress a lot, but ultimately to know. Krishna alone is, I am not there. This is a pseudo entity. I am putting Aham Brahmasmi differently because when you say Aham Brahmasmi, you think it is ego. It is not ego. What it means is, where am I? He alone is me. Aham, Brahma, Asmi. There is no ego there. So I am putting slightly different. Right? So to trust everything is Krishna, you slowly evolve. But still, you see the difference. This Bhagavatam, authority and bhakti says, the best of bhaktas, they still see he is different and I am different. Or uh, best, no doubt, but not the ultimate. Because still they keep their identity. I am a devotee. You are still there as a ego. I am a devotee is an ego. I am a devotee. That's an ego. Where am I? He alone is there. Where am I? He alone is there. That is the ultimate, where the duality ends. That can only happen through knowledge. But to come to that, the man should have a reasonable composure, should get put to the comfortable things, and also simultaneously evolve in contemplation. So various upasanas and prajapati upasanas. Same Prajapati Upasana here it's going to tell us how to do that, but he continuously cautions us this much only desire material world, yagnas, yagas can give. This much only, it's finite. It continuously says. And in this, in the next uh, chapter, because he's trying to Till we come to the second chapter of the first kanda, which I am going trying to enter today. Otherwise, people will lose interest. He's all the time talking so many things. So I want to enter to the subject. Let us see. So when he describes all this prajapupas and all that, he cautions this all, this much only you can get in desires and all that. But out of all, what we know. These are all again not reliable. Prajapati is reliable. He is Satyam. God is Satyam. 
but his satyam is still relative he has another satyam which is absolute satyasya satyam he is satyam he is satyasya satyam the same word is used in bhagavatam also satyasya satyam ruta satya netram satyatmakam tvam sharanam prapanna i surrender to you satyasya satyam there are three realities vyavaharika satta you are different i am different vyavaharika satta then pratibhasika satta the self in you and the self in me is the same we are all reflections pratibhasika satta the water in the wave the water in the ocean are all see the reflective one all the different characters in my dream i alone am there the differences are all only the names and forms the essence is the way that is the reflective truth paramarthika satta there is nothing other than what there is nothing other than the waker in the tree there is nothing other than gold in all atoms paramarthika satta absolute truth so here prana often referred as uddita hiranagarbha prajapati is satyam but there is another satyam satyasya satyam that is brahma now again you see here is brahma uh, prajapati here is brahma is it so no brahman is everywhere reflecting in particular thoughts he becomes jiva the same brahman becomes ishwara he becomes hiranagarbha he becomes prajapati and when you remove all the names and forms and attachments he is brahman he is brahman so therefore prajapati is not different he is not different so to make us understand here there is a small story few shlokas at least i read so that i can say i i i did the text which is a block 13 yeah ಅಸುರಾ ತ ಲೋಕೇಶು ಅಸ್ಪರ್ಧಂತ ದೇಹ ದೇವಾಚಿತು ಹಂತ ಅಸುರಾನ್ ಯಜ್ಞ ಉದ್ಗೀತೇನ ಉದ್ಗೀತೇನ ಅಚ್ಚಯಾಮೇತಿ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದೇರ್ ವೆರ್ ಟೂ ಕ್ಲಾಸಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಸುರಾಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಸುರಾಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಕ್ಲಿಕ್ ದೇರ್ ಬೋತ್ ಆರ್ ಸನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರಜಾಪತಿ both are sons of prajapati whatever is there in this world it's all the total mind and intellect he is called prajapati total mind and intellect influences your mind and intellect sometimes good thoughts you are asura sometimes egoistic materialistic selfish thoughts you are asura both are children of your own mind so total suras and total asuras are children of the total mind which is called prajapati which is called prajapati so they are not different even in story bhagavatam you know diti and aditi aditi kashyapa kashin sonu 
Kashyapa is the one. Diti and Aditi. Diti is what? Illumining. Yotana, light. Aditi, ignorance. Born to Diti, his sattvic mind. Ar suras. Born to Aditi, Ar asuras. They are not two completely different. They are as the mind. Therefore, both are children of the mind. One more thing. It's not that there is a class of people in T Nagar is there. All Suras. In Ananagar, all Asuras. It's not like that. Sometimes the same man can be Sura and Asura also. You understand? When you identify with divine principles, you become a Sura. When you identify with material things, you become a Sura. So, how many beautiful things you learn? Do not try to judge anybody is bad, he is good. You yourself are different at different times. So, what am I to do? Don't have to do anything. Accept as you are, try to grow from there. Accept as you are, try to go from there. I, I, I have found out a escape route for me. It may happen someday. Somebody will say, I believe you are a rogue. I will tell them, yes, protect yourself. <laughs> I don't have to argue. Yes, you protect yourself. Why should I argue? Because all of us born like that, we evolve. I am in a different stage, you are in a different stage. Therefore, whatever I am, I am. You take care of everything. This is all about suras and asuras. Now, all the time, it says, kaniyascha, suraha kaniyascha. They are always limited in number, five pandavas. The asuras are jayascha. They are many, hundred pandavas. All the time, it is like that. All the time, it is like that. How many excuses we have to come to class? How many excuses we have to avoid parties? Parties, marriages, you don't avoid. You think class, you have hundred reasons. Why? We are slowly growing. We are slowly growing. So suras are limited. Noble thoughts. Asuras are many. Asuras are so he says that, and now Prajapati Virat Prasha tells these suras, they will come and conquer you because they are many. Therefore, you must do yagna, udgita yagna, prajapati yagna, prajapati goma. How they conquer, it is said here. They told the organ of speech, tongue. You should protect yourself. So chant with Gita. Chant with Gita. And Tatayati. And it says, so, so it be. Te pyo vagudha gayat. And then the Tongue started singing with Gita. Yo vachi bhogastam devedhyaha agayate yat kalyanam padati tadatmane. So, by chanting this with Gita, everybody gets good results. Everybody gets good results. You see, I have not completed that, but I have to each time tell, 
tell you what is related to our life. Many of us have doubts whether chanting really can make a life different, whether the Palaswati they give a raw character, not Palaswati's. We have doubts. You need not have doubt. Because when you chant, you have turned your attention from the false to the real, from matter to God. It has to give you peace, security. It has to give you, because your mind is changed. So you don't have to doubt. Same thing with Palaswati's. You, understand? you don't have to doubt because it is you that have decided to change. So they wanted to chant because good will happen. Asuras, if this fellow chants, he will overcome us. So we should stop him from chanting. We should stop him from chanting. How many obstacles are there for you to come to class? Right? At that time, somebody telephones. I come from Bombay. I want to see you. I have, I have here only one hour. I am coming. What can you say? Come. No class. No understand. Obstacles. So, if these people chat, there are rare adamant people. If somebody rings me up like that, yeah, come. I'm ready. I had to leave to the class. We both to go, go together. <laughs> we both go together. So he says, "Te viduhu ane na vai na udgatra Asian kini tam abhi abhi bad drukya papma na abhi abhi jan sa yaha sa papma yada vedam aprati rupam vadati sa yeva sa papma." So, these Asuras tried to attack them and they could not chant, they could not tune their mind. They could not chant, they could not tune their mind. So, Papa came. Papa came. What does it mean? When you want to do so good, don't see all these Asuras, Asuras outside, in you yourself. When you want to do something good, some evil thought comes to you, some selfish thought comes to you, you cannot do. That is Asuras have attacked. Asuras have attacked. And therefore, you fall into evil. So, they fell into the evil. What is evil when it wants to chant? The evil is, the evil is, it Evil is when somebody talks improper things. When somebody talks improper. Enaya class is Sundaka. Niara the Mochit Gunapatia. Enaya, the Pizalam Patrang, the Yepidirka, Ama Epidirka Patia. This is all Asurik talk. Right? And so, he goes on giving for each of the organ like that. What you see, if you chant with Gita, you will see good things. But the Asuras come and strike you. You will see all evil things. Hearing, tasting, smelling, all that he gives. And then, then they, go, they try to attack this prana. They try to attack this prana. And when they try to attack this prana, the evil thoughts, they crumble, they crumble like a mud ball hitting that wall. What will happen to the mud ball? It will fall. It will dismantle, become earth. So the evil thoughts, when they try to attack prana, they got disintegrated. And now, all these other people, the Indriyas, that who is it that saved us? The Prajapati saved them from these evil forces. 
they start inquiring, who is this that saved us? They find it is Prajapati. And what does Prajapati do? He, what is Prajapati? He is called Dur. Dur means Dhuram. You know, we say, death is far away from him. So when you tune to him, death does not affect you. When you tune yourself to this prana, you detach from the body, mind, intellect. Death is seen only through the body. So you don't experience death. Because you are now tuned to the prana, Hiranagarbha, Prajapati. So you go beyond that. And what, are, what more happens? Up to now, you were only believing, seeing is real. Palms for the eyes, sounds for the ears. Now you started having subtle perceptions. Light for the eyes, space for the, this thing, you know, each of the Tanmatras. So what happens? Two things happen by the tuning to Prajapati. One, immediately they were saved from Asuras and they tune to him. Therefore, they go beyond the death. Two, they become subtle and become devas, being completely grass people. They have improved and start not with the ear, but the deity behind it. Yeah, not with the eye, the deity behind the eye. So these two have happened because of Prajapati Upas. So you see it. Sava Yesha Devata Devata Yetasam Devatana Papmanam Rutyu Mapatya Mutyumya Haina Rutyu Matyavaha, this deity after taking away death, the evil of these gods, next carried them beyond death. First, first aid is to save them from the Sasuras. Next is to take them beyond death means the physical things of death, the subtle preceding deities, they are devas, relatively they don't have death. They don't have death relative. And how, what did you do? Sa vai vachameva pradhama pradhama atyavahat sa yada mrityu natya mrityata so agni bhavatu so yam agni hi parena mrityu mrityu matikranto dikshati this uh, organ of speech it carried beyond death how got rid of death when it gets rid of death what happens Speech preceding deity is fire. It becomes fire. It's no more tongue. It, it identifies with fire. The ego up to then was believing only the tongue now sees himself to be fire. Fiery speech. Right? Like that, various organs. You can read. It's, the commentary is simple and beautiful. It's not difficult. Because if I had to do the whole thing, whole thing, maybe I may not be there because two years it will take. And you know, recently I went to Uttarkashi, returned from airport. So we had to trust. <laughs> airport, some sickness. So 84, God is too kind, give me bonus. But I should not take him for granted. Right? So let me finish it quickly. At least this much I am doing. If you go to the YouTube, all of them skip all this and go only for that Maitra Brahmana. And this Udgita, this Prana is everything to say that he is Sama, Sama Veda, he is, he is everything. And when you chant Sama properly, the first benefit is you get money, he says, if you chant properly. Then you become the master, like the various benefits, he says. Then finally, they, they don't have food to eat, starving. This 
Prajapati is all the time having food. So they ask, you have saved us, but we are starving, you are eating. Please share your food with us. He says, okay, sit around me, focus on me, you will get it. Sit around me, focus on me, you will get it. How prana alone gets food? Food is kept here. How do you eat it? First take it. Take it. That is called taking it and putting here. Up to that is called prana. Subdivision of prana. When it goes inside, comes out, it's called apana. When it is uh, digested, it's called samana. Distributed, it's called vyana. Thinking, it's called udana. So all your functions, getting the food, eating, digesting, throwing out, all done by prana. All done by prana. Right? So, he says, you were extrovert, so you didn't get. Now turn towards me. Meditate on me, you will get. They turned towards that, meditated on that. Their strength grew, their capacity grew. They get also food. Survival. Right? And now, and now, they almost the close of this chapter, this glory of the Prajapati, because you have to chant, meditate on him for you to become that. And he gives you whatever you want. So how would you get from him? You have to ask him. How will you ask? Ask the best. Asatoma Sadgamaya. Tamasoma Yotirgamaya. Mrityorma Amrityamaya. These are called Pagamans. They come here. In 128, 1328, Pavamanas, when the uh, who does it, you chant this. Whatever you ask, your desires will be fulfilled. And if you meditate, you will become Prajapati. You will become, yeah, beautiful, you know. But our Yagnavarka is not as satisfied. He says, this is all rituals can do. This is all desires can do. You must go beyond. And now, what is the best chapter? In the one one. In one one, best. Good. Already 756. I, I can't take it. So next week, please. Okay. Next week. Don't worry because only maximum five more classes. I have to explain this. All other things are opasins. Already we are done in different examples. So I will keep up my 15 weeks time. You don't worry. Don't get, it's not even the finished first. Don't worry. We all have some tricks. Mm -hmm. Right? It will be completed. We'll do next week. Okay. Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vasishyate Om Sham Isham Isham Nidhi Hari Hivom Sri Guru Yodham Hari Hivom None of you miss next class because Mahavakya comes there. Aham Brahma. Mahavakya comes there. Next class, nobody should miss. Right? Oh.